Hey, what's up, Echo Church? It's been a while, uh, but I thought I would lean in today and just chat a little bit about 1 Peter 1 3. As I reread this once again today and looked at some of my notes in the last few months of studying this specific scripture, I felt like it had and has a message that is very, very relevant for this very moment. And it says this, it says, God's power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. As we have navigated from an old normal into a new normal, I want to remind you that God's power will provide what we need for these very moments. And what do we need? We need life from God. We also need a road map or a compass where God can show us on how he would navigate in these very moments. And as I studied, as I looked at some of these uh, some of these words, or honestly just a word study, uh, one of the things that really just kind of pierced my heart was this idea of godliness. And there's a trail there, I believe, that honestly is it's worth following and godliness also could be referred to as respect or reverence and so just listen about that god's power has given us everything we need for life and reverence or respect for for who for god and i also believe from others and if we go ahead and follow that word, what we'll eventually find in 1 Peter 1, 6 and 7 and 3, 11 is God is calling us to have endurance with godliness. We're also to navigate in these very moments with brotherly love and godliness and holy conduct and godliness. And we will find life and we'll have life as we have Godliness, as we walk with respect and reverence for our Creator and also the creation around us. So, I just want to remind you today that God is calling us to endure, endure this very moment. And if you're anything like me, I mean, I just have to be honest, um, I feel pretty good most of the times, but sometimes there are moments and I feel like there are waves that come in where, man, it's just a struggle. And I'm like, man, is life ever going to go back to normal? But God wants to remind us today to endure. Brotherly love. Man, if we're going to make it through this, we've got to be people that unite instead of divide. I mean, come on. (laughs) We're in an election year. We all were going to go off Facebook. You know that for like this year anyway. (laughs) Because we knew that it would be kind of a crazy season as we navigate through an election year. We know how divisive just this very moment as we head into this fall. Uh, but on top of that, we've got to navigate through COVID and, and mask, no mask. Uh, is there a conspiracy going on or is there not? Uh, and I would just say this is regardless of the scenario, let's lean into brotherly love. Let us lean into each other. Let's unite as a church. Let's unite as a city and do something great for the kingdom of God. And then holy conduct. If we're going to navigate through this very moment, as I believe the Lord has stripped us and cleaned us and is, is, is making us righteous and making us, honestly, we might feel broken, but I think God is in the process. I don't think I know God is in the process of making us whole. That if we're going to remain whole, then we have to lean into his holy conduct, his holy action. And so today I want to remind you, as we navigate into our new normal, let us navigate with endurance. Let us not give up. Let's operate with brotherly love. Let's unite instead of divide. And also, let us live the life that God has meant us to live. I'm not talking about um, behavior modification, but to lean into the ways of Jesus, to allow Jesus to lead us. And I believe if we follow Jesus, that our behaviors will follow. And so today, I just want to remind you, we're in a brand new season. 
We're entering a brand new season. And let us believe that God has the power to keep us through these very moments. We miss you. We can't wait to see you. We love you. God bless you.